Stuart Isaac, a 48-year-old man, found himself ensnared in a mystery that would perplex and intrigue many. On September 24, 2010, he vanished into the vast wilderness of Yellowstone National Park in Wyoming, leaving behind nothing but whispers of his presence and a puzzle that begged to be solved. The disappearance was the culmination of a journey that had commenced 18 days prior on a seemingly ordinary day in Burtonsville, Maryland. Isaac had left a cryptic note for his family, a simple message that cloaked his true intentions in ambiguity. He announced he was setting out on a cross-country trip. This statement baffled everyone close to him, and it raised more questions than it answered. With the note as his only goodbye, he departed in his black 2009 Lexus IS250 westward, embarking on a 32-hour drive that would lead him straight into the heart of America's most beloved and mysterious national park. Was it a quest for solitude, an escape from the unseen burdens that life could no longer contain, or perhaps Yellowstone, with its geothermal marvels and untamed landscapes, had whispered his name promising answers to questions he hadn't yet formed. The park, a vast expanse of natural beauty, has been known to both reveal and conceal secrets deep within its forests, gushing geysers, and expansive valleys. Into this wilderness, Isaac disappeared, leaving behind the world he knew for reasons as mysterious as the land that swallowed him. His journey to Yellowstone was not just a trip, it was a voyage into the unknown, a pilgrimage towards something that perhaps even he couldn't fully articulate. As the wheels of the black Lexus turned, mile after mile, Isaac moved closer to his disappearance, to a fate that would become a story of questions, theories, and searches. The note he left, brief and to the point, hinted at a journey but revealed nothing of the shadows that might have danced at its edges. It was a prelude to a story that would unfold in the vast wilderness of Wyoming, a narrative punctuated by the mysterious silence of his absence. Isaac's disappearance into Yellowstone was not just a missing persons case, it was a story that captured the imagination, a puzzle that lay hidden beneath the canopy of one of the most mysterious places on earth. On the morning of September 26th of 2010, with the vistas of Yellowstone National Park as a witness, an unsettling discovery was made at Craig Pass, a secluded spot far removed from the well-trodden hiking trails. There, Stuart Isaac's black 2009 Lexus IS250 sat abandoned, a silent scene against the wilderness. The doors were unlocked with the keys resting inside, as if awaiting his return. This discovery set off a flurry of activity as the National Park Service launched a comprehensive search from both the skies and on the ground. Helicopters sliced through the air while search teams combed the underbrush, each step an effort to pierce the veil of mystery surrounding Isaac's disappearance. Craig Pass, known for its remote beauty and lack of trails, became the epicenter of a growing storm of questions and theories. Why was the car left in such a state? unlocked and ready, as though Isaac had stepped out for a moment, intending to return. The presence of his keys inside suggested a sudden departure, a moment of crisis or a decision that pulled him away from the safety of his vehicle. This place, far from the past frequented by tourists and hikers alike, hinted at a desire for solitude or perhaps an escape. The efforts of the National Park Service to find Isaac were met with silence. The park, vast and indifferent, gave up no clues, and Isaac remained missing. The search efforts, extensive and thorough, gradually wound down, leaving behind a haunting absence where a man once stood. The absence became a space filled with speculation, a narrative incomplete and waiting for an ending that had still not been written. Stuart Isaac's venture into the untamed heart of Yellowstone, despite his lack of experience as a hiker or outdoorsman weaves an even more intricate web of mystery around his disappearance. This detail paints a portrait of a man stepping far outside his comfort zone, propelled by motives that remain shrouded in the unknown. His last communication, a lengthy phone call to Matsu Evans, an old friend from high school residing in Guam, adds layer and depth to the complexity of this case. 
This call, made just two days before his vehicle would be found abandoned, was out of character for Isaac, who typically leaned on the immediacy of texts and emails to bridge the vast time zones between them. During this unusually long conversation, which was approximately two hours in length, Isaac revealed his imminent arrival at Yellowstone, a revelation that, in hindsight, casts a haunting shadow over their dialogue. The departure from their usual modes of communication suggests a profound need for connection, a desire to share or unburden before stepping into the vastness of the park. It hints at the weight of his journey, a prelude to his disappearance that was perhaps heavier with meaning than even Isaac could have articulated at the time. This final act of reaching out, choosing a voice call over the detached brevity of text, feels like a bridge across the silence that would soon surround his story. This detail of Isaac's story, a man not versed in the wild, yet drawn to one of the most wild places on earth, coupled with his final, out-of-character communication, threads complex questions and contemplations, leaving those who hear his story to wonder about the thoughts and emotions that propelled him into the heart of Yellowstone. Classified as lost, injured, and or missing, his story hovers on the edge of public consciousness, scarcely touched by the media spotlight or societal discourse. Isaac, a man whose heritage hails from the Pacific Islands, embodied a blend of characteristics not commonly woven into the fabric of such mysteries. With his dark hair, deep brown eyes, and a stature of approximately 5 foot 9 inches tall and weighing around 220 pounds, he was not the typical figure one imagines of disappearing into the wilderness. The tattoos adorning his right tricep and each shoulder blade, perhaps markers of personal stories or cultural heritage, and the possibility of a mustache on his face add layers to his appearance and identity. The silence surrounding his disappearance and the lingering absence of awareness cast a shadow over his narrative. It's as if Isaac, with his distinct appearance and untold stories inked onto his skin, stepped into a realm beyond the ordinary, into a narrative punctuated by the mysteries of nature itself. The lack of understanding about his motives for entering Yellowstone, a land of geothermal wonders and wild, untouched beauty, only deepens the intrigue and mystery. What drove a man, seemingly out of his element in the rugged outdoors, to seek something in the wilderness? Was it a quest for solitude, an escape, or a journey towards something undefinable? Isaac's story is a reminder of the many faces that disappear into the unknown, leaving questions behind that echo in the absence of answers. It speaks to the heart of human curiosity and the innate desire to understand why. Why did he go? What was he seeking? And ultimately, where has he gone? In the vast expanse of Yellowstone, amid its beauties and dangers, the story of Stuart Isaac remains a puzzle, a narrative suspended in the silence of the wild, waiting for a voice to bring it back into the light.